And what we find is um, typically the high school students, they are going to bed say around midnight and college students, at least the UCSD students, we found maybe one out of 100 who went to bed before midnight. The, that um, reminds me that Horacio Iglesias just published this really nice paper um, showing that counter to what we believe, students, now this is the University of Washington in Seattle, I should mention, where it's very dark <laughs> in the winter. Young people, so these are people in their 20s, are staying up later in the winter months compared to the summer months. Yeah. Which is, you know, totally <laughs> counterintuitive. You think, yeah. okay, everyone stays up late in the summer and goes to bed early in the winter, but because of artificial lighting, it's the exact opposite. Yeah, so and another, I mean, um, I don't know whether Horacio monitored it, but my other suspicion, I'm not saying whether it's true, in winter, we are more likely to consume more coffee, hot chocolate in the evening, and <laughs> that might also be delaying uh, sleep onset. That makes sense. So in that way, again, here is another thing which can be related to policy or practice at Educational Institute. So what happened during uh, COVID was everybody went to remote learning. Um, the assignments became digital and assignment submission became digital. And there are many systems, online systems that came into play. And by default, the assignment submission deadline became midnight. So then now what is happening is, I don't know about Stanford, uh, in maybe you are, when you are giving assignment, um, when is the deadline? Midnight, typically. Midnight. Yeah. So then most of us, most students, they will try to cram as much as possible, try to solve as much as possible and submit at midnight. And it'll be really cool to go back to your system administrator to see, is there a, so many the frequency plot of uh, <laughs> frequency distribution of what time people are submitting there. Um, assignment because we know uh, means when we submit our grant. <laughs> yeah, so it, I mean, you know, you hear about the obesity crisis, the crisis of metabolic disorders, not just in the U.S. but everywhere in the world. Yeah. I mean, it's really striking. I remember going to a Keystone meeting, scientific meeting in um, the early 2000s, and there was a map of the United States, and it showed where the obesity rates were over 30 percent in adults, and the entire country basically was lighting up like crazy. Yeah. Now it would be the entire country, but there were these kind of uh, zones in the middle. Um, that were almost devoid of, of uh, obesity. Colorado, yeah. namely, Idaho at that time. Those are now also fallen under the umbrella of, of rampant obesity. Yeah. And, you, and everyone is speculating, okay, is it, uh, you know, is it seed oils? Is it, um, is it this? Is it that? Is it highly processed foods? I mean, I'm guessing it's all of those things, including lack of, those, of activity. Yeah. But one has to wonder, given everything we're talking about in terms of metabolic dysfunction, late shifted eating, all these issues with late shifted eating and staying up late with artificial lighting, whether or not that could be one of the major factors in the so-called obesity crisis. It's likely, you know, we always say freshman 15. That's right. <laughs> because <laughs> these kids are gaining 15 pounds in their freshman year in college. And um, this is where I think as educator or professors, um, it'll be interesting to go back and see uh, what can we do because another thing that's also becoming more and more common. Uh, for example, I, I give a circadian rhythm class, means I just give two lectures. And I remember when I started um, 15, 17 years ago, uh, that lecture used to be around 1.30 p.m. or 2 p.m. in the afternoon, and it's a two and a half hour lecture, so it's done by five. And for the last, um, before the pandemic, <laughs> I realized that they changed the timing. Now the lecture was starting at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So I was finishing by 9, 9.30 p.m. And these kids, they had to go and eat after 9.30. And study, socialize. Study, socialize. Fireside and then, chat. Fireside chat. Yeah. And then to express themselves, like to feel free from assignments. When are they going to do that? After they submit the assignment, then they're going to do that. So that's why we had to go back and revisit this issue. Say, okay, so for adults, for most of us who are working a day job, our deadline is 5 p.m. in most cases, right? Um, means at least in university system, the person who is submitting the grant or who is doing, um, taking care of my IRB or IACOC, they are all leaving at five o'clock. So for me, everything has to end by five. I think for most people out there, 